Hey, it's Eric again from LED Grow Lights Depot. In this video, I'm going to review the new Science LED Raging Kush Full Spectrum LED Grow Light. Don't forget to smash the like button below and also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more in-depth reviews of the best and brightest LED grow lights. I'm really excited to review this light. Since its updated release in 2019, I've been very impressed with this light as a whole. In a nutshell, it contains a large form factor and unique lenses which create an even light distribution. The Raging Kush offers dimming, intensity, and scheduling control which are controlled by Thea, a sleek, easy to use app for iOS or Android. The fixture is ideal for tents, vertical commercial grows, or anywhere where ceiling height is restricted. Let's take a deeper dive into this fixture. The Raging Kush is designed to replace the light intensity of more than a 1000 watt HID grow light. The fixture measures 44 inches by 34.5 inches by 3.75 inches and it weighs 42 pounds so it's quite large and a bit heavy. Science LED uses high quality diodes across each of the three bars. The diodes are covered by patented 120 degree secondary lenses that take the hot spot out from directly below the diodes and aid in distributing the light to the diode's sides. This results in a very even footprint across the fixture. Expect around 1,677 micromoles per second total light output from the fixture and with an efficacy of 2.43 micromoles per joule. This is pretty darn efficient in considering the full controllability of the fixture and the secondary lenses. The PCBs are backed by aluminum heat sinks and are passively cooled. The diodes and control system are encased and hidden from the fixture. Altogether, the fixture is very well built and feels very sturdy considering its large size. The spectrum is made up of three different spectrum channels. One, cool white, which is 6500K, two, warm white, which is 2700K, and three, 660 nanometer deep red and 720 nanometer far red. Together, these create a really good spectrum for flowering since it's pretty heavy and 660 nanometer red. There is no UVA in the spectrum, which is not required for good growth. Many companies do not put it in their fixture since it may decrease the lifespan of the fixture since UV diodes have a shorter lifespan compared to other wavelengths. The channels on the Raging Kush can be manipulated depending on the stage of growth you're in. Let me show you how you can do this on the app. There are two main sections on the app, Spectrum and Recipe. Right now I'm in the Spectrum section. So the video is sped up here just so I can show you this really quick. You can see that you can change the cool channel, the warm channel, and the red channel, and also the intensity on the app. And all of this is affecting the light output. And then the next section is the recipe section. Again, this is just a quick overview. I'm not going to go into it too much. This is the first recipe and you can go into each one of the steps and change the spectrum and intensity. Overall, I found this app pretty simple and intuitive to use. Okay, let's get back to the review. The vegetative footprint for this light is a 5x5 to 6x6 area. The flower footprint is recommended for up to a 4.5x4.5 foot area. I would say this fixture does a solid 4x4, but may be used in a 5x5 space, but expect less light per square foot. You can hang this fixture as close as about 6 inches for flowering, since this is where the light beams start to overlap. You can also veg at this height if you dim down the intensity. I'll show you the expected par values at different heights inside of a tent shortly. The Raging Kush is rated for 100 volts to 277 volts AC and draws an advertised wattage of 690 watts at the wall. This is probably at 240 volts. When I measured the fixture's wattage draw at the wall on a 120 volt circuit at full intensity, it drew about 715 watts at full power with an amperage of 6.03. And expect about 2.9 amps at 240 volts and 2.5 amps at 277 volts. On 120 volts, the cool white channel drew 250 watts, the warm white channel drew 250 watts, and the red channel drew 200 watts. The unit comes with a 120 volt power cord and plug, but a 240 volt plug is available for an additional cost. The fixture is UL and CSA certified for commercial grow operations in the USA and Canada. We recommend an ETL or UL certified grow light for all commercial grows. There is a five-year manufacturer's warranty on this fixture. Science LED is a really good, honest company, so they're going to take care of you if you had any rare issues with this fixture. Science LED is based in Arizona, USA. This is where all their fixtures are assembled. Here are the par charts provided by Science LED. 
These charts assume the fixture is being used in a room with an array of other fixtures or in a tent or room with reflective walls. The first chart are the par readings in a 4 foot by 4 foot area for flower. Notice the nice, even high readings across the entire area with an average PPFD of 1080 micromoles per meter squared per second. This next chart displays the par readings in a 5x5 area for veg. Same thing here. Note the average par of 658 micromoles per meter squared per second across the 5x5 footprint. I tested the PPFD of this fixture in a 4x4 Gorilla Grow tent. You're going to see the highest par readings in a tent versus an open area due to the reflectivity. Let's take a closer look at those readings. The first reading's at 36 inches. Now I don't really recommend using this light at 36 inches for flower. It'd be a really low intensity flower. However, you can use it at 36 inches for veg. However, I would probably dial down the reds a little bit. So you can see we're hitting right around 600 PPFD almost everywhere, which is directly underneath the light and on the edges and corners. So really good uniformity at this height, but it's a little bit too high. The light's not really recommended to be used at this height. The next reading's at 24 inches or two feet. PPFD is just under 900, directly underneath the light. And moving to the edge, it's just dropping down a little bit. Not too much though, got some pretty good uniformity with this light, as you know. And into the corner, about 675 PPFD. And then on this edge, right around 720 PPFD, and then back to the center. So you could definitely flower at this height. However, I would probably use it a little bit closer. And you can see in our next reading, which is gonna be at 12 inches, I'd recommend using the light at this height or even a little bit closer. So let's take a look at that now. And now we're at 12 inches. 12 inches, right around 830 PPFD, which seems pretty low. And you're gonna see the unique thing about this light is that the there's no hot spot in the middle. The light is pretty evenly distributed. So check this out. As we move in between the two bars, the light intensity actually increases because you have light hitting that middle spot from both bars. So right in the middle, it's like around 1100, 1200 plus actually, PPFD. And then underneath this middle bar drops to around 875 PPFD. I'm just gonna move it around a little bit, see what type of readings we're getting. So the way the lenses are shaped, they direct the light to the sides instead of directly underneath the diodes. So pretty cool. All right, let's wrap it up. The MSRP on the Raging Kush is $1,495 as of June 2019. Plus get free shipping in the lower 48 states with no additional tax. Click the link in the description to view the price and or purchase this fixture. Additional discounts may also be available. Science LED also offers other types of lights that you may be interested in. I put a link to those lights in the description as well. Don't forget to hit the like button below if you found this review helpful in any way or if you learned something new today. And be sure to subscribe for more LED grow light reviews, giveaways, and awesome LED content. Check out ledgrowlightsdepot.com for the latest and most trusted LED grow lights. Follow us on Instagram too, link in the description. Happy grows!